hi guys hello and welcome back to another video so today guys i'm going to share with you some amazing amazing products that i actually discovered so these are the rice rice water rice like they are made from rice water right so we have the shampoo the conditioner and the oil we did so so amazing so i'm going to share with you my wash and styling routine actually today we're going to be using this socking right here to style our natural hair so in case you want to see more make sure you give me a like on my video so i'll be styling my natural hair for today but it's actually going to be like a wash on how to grow your hair how to maintain that shine you see how guys my hair is looking like so shiny so good it's because i've used these products that actually contain like rice water so instead of you doing a diy struggling with all that we actually found a product that can work with you okay so we are going for a wash and uh, starting off this is the shampoo these are all from tafa oil so i'm going to make sure that i link their their website and everything down in the description box we have a, a conditioner and we also have a leave-in conditioner which is right here so we have four products that we're going to use and also the rice oil so we actually have the shampoo the conditioner and the rice oil the leave-in and the regular you know conditioner that you use and wash out so yeah they have amazing smell unlike the rice water that you actually ferment on your own these products have amazing amazing smell so yeah i start off by washing my dirty hair obviously so i usually use like lukewarm i don't use like hot 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 water in my hair i tend to use moderate 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 so i'm going to wash wash using my my shampoo from tougher oil i'm going to link you can also follow them on instagram and all the products will be linked down in the description box so this is the oil it's actually you get it in eight ounces so in case you're purchasing get to know the kind of bottle that you are getting so these are all natural products made for all hair textures made to grow your hair looking so shiny looking so good guys the results were amazing you're actually going to see my hair that i actually styled my hair without without any kind of gel or what it was really silky it was looking good shiny as you know what the rice water does to your hair i actually did a video about it so in case you want to dodge fermenting and all that kindly get these products for your natural hair okay they work for both men and women so even if you're a guy you're looking out for that product to help you grow your hair your natural hair or whatever you call it artificial hair <laughs> this product is amazing okay so i'm washing my hair to make sure that i take off any gel any dirt that is in my hair it's been such a long time without me washing my hair so after that we are going to take what we call a conditioner okay so i'm taking a conditioner and i'm just putting it in my hair it actually had like a seal because this was my first time using it it has a seal so i removed it as you know how we usually you know put on your conditioner so i put on my conditioner in my hair and i gently i started massaging it i needed to show you how i actually do how my hair is looking how it's all coming out so you see this is the conditioner i put it on my hair guys every time you put a conditioner in your hair make sure you massage 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 so i massaged my hair and i was actually kind of trying to define my curls ah a ugandan girl having curls <laughs> it is not easy but anyway i was trying to define the curls as you can see i need to see how my hair is looking like okay how everything is so just look look how soft it made my hair i know it was a hassle for me to detangle my hair but it actually got the job done so i'm just brushing my hair just as you see it is super soft and the curls are defined officially a curly girl okay so yeah as you can see i'm brushing the hair br 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 brushing my hair using my african my african comb okay so likewise to this size guys always detangle your hair before you actually like 
get off shower. This is a good method that is going to help you stretch your hair as well. Make sure you always detangle when you put in a leave-in condition. Make sure your hair is so soft. I'm actually going to share with you a tip shortly on how to keep your hair like straight and even without using a bro dryer or what. Okay, so make sure you stay tuned and give me a like, subscribe in case you are new here. So I'm going to wash off my conditioner, wash it off as I'm still massaging my hair for it to kind of like get deep inside my hair and on my scalp, okay? So I'm massaging. Conditioner is made for the hair, not for the scalp. Oh, oh, okay. So as you are doing this, the moment you're done washing off the conditioner, when you actually notice that your conditioner is out of your hair, section your hair. Section your hair and, uh, you know, put it in, is it called a braid? Is it called a strand? Uh, which one? How do you call it? Okay. First, you call it a bitutua. Okay. So you just put it in a bitutua form or in, you, you know, you braid your hair to make it stretch. When you do this, you're going to help your hair not to not to tangle again. You are going to have your hair stretched. That's why every time you see me like washing my hair, I usually braid my hair immediately when I'm still even in the shower. It protects your hair. It kind of like stretches your hair so that your hair is always like in a stretchy, stretchy kind of, you know. So now we are done. So I have to, I had to get out, but I need to put in my leave-in conditioner before I actually go to bed. So I, I went ahead, removed. It is so easy. Like it doesn't take up. This is how soft my hair looks like. It doesn't take up even a minute for you to remove the braid. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to take in my tougher oil. And this is the, the rice water leave-in conditioner. Okay. These products are made from rice. Rice. Yeah. Rice water rice rice water so this is the leave-in conditioner and it's also in eight eight ounces so you get it in eight ounces all the products all the description is usually like indicated on the bottle so in case you can check them out or i'll try and leave them in the description box okay so i'm going to allow it i'm going to allow it in my hair and then braid so this my hair is going to be stretched when i wake up in the morning okay so this is me in the morning i woke up was so happy i did my makeup because i was feeling highly i was feeling good i needed to wake up to start a fresh 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 what today it is a saturday yeah creating this video on a saturday and this is how my hair is looking guys just just look at how my hair is looking like look at it look how shiny it is and i have not put any oil in my hair i only left in my rice water conditioner rice water conditioner that is what i left it like in the night okay so i'm going to take my rice rice oil rice oil, yeah rice oil so this is the rice oil so rice oil and i'm going to put it on my scalp i needed you to see the consistency of the of the oil and as you can see like it is kind of like thick compared to other oils or compared to like coconut oil it is sort of like almond oil yeah it has it looks like almond oil when you hold it like when you feel it on your hands or your fingers it is kind of like on the heavier side so i'm going to put it on my scalp just i love using oils that has tips it actually gets the job done. So I this is my tip. I usually put it in the middle of the hair and then I let it like circulate around my hair. That is how I oil my hair. So I put like a little excess in the middle of my hair and then I'm going to let it like circulate around, around, you know, my scalp. So I'm also taking part of the rice oil and I'm oiling my hair, guys. I'm oiling my hair and look at that shin. Look at that shin. Look at that shin. So for those, my, my lazy naturals who cannot ferment their own rice, rice water, this is a great alternative would you okay so putting my oil and yeah look how my hair is feeling it is feeling good i like the texture like this and soon i'm going to do a self press 
cut off my hair part part of it okay massage massage this hair before you style natural hair always make sure that you have oiled your scalp you have oiled your scalp the more you oil your scalp you give it a chance and right now we are actually experiencing like cold cold days so winter season make sure you always leave your hair like hydrated oil your hair as much as possible okay now it is time to style so i'm just going to get a random rubber band any color can do uh, after all we're going to hide it i don't have any black ones so i just put a bit of oil on my rubber band and i want to do like is it called a high pony high high bun yeah i'm going to put it in a high bun i'm trying to extend it front front to my you know to my forehead because let me tell you if you have a long forehead these high high bands are good for you okay make sure you always extend it closer to your forehead so that you don't have to create a very big valley on your forehead okay so yeah just putting my hair in a rubber band rubber bandized form rubber band holding my hair very well and this is how it come out so i i'm not going to style my hair using any sort of gel okay i'm not styling my hair using any sort of gel i just love to style it today and just let it okay just want it to look so i'm taking a sock cut part of it and then i'm going to make a donut out of a sock so in case you have any old socking you know in case you don't have a donut this is a great great you know great alternative for you so yeah open it like this and yeah it is good for it is good to go open it open it like this and then put it on that is what i told you you need to trust me when it comes to diy I have the solution. So yeah, I'm making my hair like, you know, calling it out so that I can make a donut, okay? Look like a real donut and I'm get I'm getting I'm getting was it a rubber band? Yeah. No, this is just a hair tie. I'm using a hair tie and just putting it around, guys. This is I I cannot explain any more like this is the best i could do so take the excess natural hair and you know hide it underneath the bun i don't know if you get me i don't know if you get me <laughs> so yeah make sure you hide it underneath the bun like this and if you can get an extra like extra rubber band or what you can also put it on to secure it the more okay just take a comb and make sure that everything is like mm, everything is like mm, good fantastic so i took an excess excess rubber band just to make sure that my hair is super secure i don't want to be walking around and boom my hair goes off no that is not what i want okay so yeah i went in with an excess rubber band and secured my hair and this is how the behind looks like guys my hair is looking so amazing it has that super beautiful shine as you can see so yeah and i am making sure that i don't have any flyaways but to complete my look i always love to go and you know kind of like lay my edges it's hard for you to lay your edges without anything so i went in with eco styling gel just to lay my edges okay just to lay my edges so that you know i don't have to look plain especially if you're a natural a a a, a, a big naturalist <laughs> so yeah um i went in with my eco styling gel just to kind of like lay my edges to look you know to look cute to look young to look all put up together and these are my edges see how i am slaying them and i feel so good so good okay like that and just roll around with your spoolie this is actually my eyebrow spoolie so it works it does work a lot so laying my edges and looking cute so guys in case you want to see more amazing videos just make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and put on the notification bell because if you don't put on the notification bell you are going to miss out a lot you are going to miss out a lot so putting a bit and taking away these flyaways these are called flyaways those hair that you see that is wanting to fly away okay these are called flyaways and this is the final final look thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you in my next next video See you. Subscribe. Bye.